Welcome back. New tonight, NASA will retire the International Space Station within the next decade. That means the 100 ton station is going to come back to Earth. Fox 35 anchor Ray Vieta joins us with what's going to happen. Ray. John, it's still several years away from happening. Towards 2030, 2031, NASA will work on first lowering the ISS gradually closer to Earth, then in 2031 bring it back crashing into Earth. But get this, none of us will feel it. The ISS was launched back into was launched into orbit back in 2000. NASA said it will continue to be used well into 2030. It served as a hub for science experiments. For example, it's helped keep people in space for long periods of time. Experts say it's crucial for human space exploration. After the space station is brought closer to Earth, three rocket ships, possibly four, will help bring it to its final resting spot. Space journalist and scientist Dr. Ken Kramer explains it will be in a remote part of the South Pacific Ocean. They would launch from Russia or launch from the United States, dock at the International Space Station, just exactly the way they do right now. But instead of raising the orbit, they will fire the thrusters to lower the orbit, and it will be gradual, and it will be aimed at this South Pacific Ocean area that is completely uninhabited. Completely uninhabited because the ISS weighs about 100 tons. By having it crash into this part of the world, it assures there will be no impact felt by us humans. Dr. Kramer says the ISS will be replaced. Most likely it'll be a commercial space station. NASA has several contracts out to companies, including Blue Origin. The replacement, Dr. Kramer says, will be especially helpful when it comes to exploring Mars. In the Alert Center, I'm Ray Vieta. We'll end back to you.